أهلا وسهلا اليوم سنتكلم عن الأعداد الأعداد so أعداد are the numbers so we are going to be going over the numbers if you don't remember um, صفر which is zero إلى عشرة I would suggest going back um, and looking at the link that I sent that has the numbers from zero to ten so, in this lesson, we are going to be covering how do we do from 11 to 100. And 100 would look like this. Okay? Okay. 10 is 10. Okay? Which is... Let me erase that little dot. Which, if you notice, it is a 1. And the 0 is represented like a dot which is right next to it. So one of the things that we covered in 130 is that the numbers in Arabic actually go from left to right, just like they do in English. And that's because these are actually um, Indo-Arabic numerals. And the numerals that we use in English, one, two, three, four, those are actually Arabic numerals. Those are the original Arabic numerals. So we're going to be doing numbers. They're all going to be going from left to right. When we do the spoken um, saying of the numbers, we always do the ones first and then the tens. Okay, so we say the ones, whatever is in the ones, and then we say whatever is in the tens. So anytime you have something that's between 11 to 19, it's going to end with ashar because this is in the tens. Okay, okay. so for 11, ahad ashar, ahad ashar. Ahad, meaning one, comes from wahad. Ahad, one, and ten. Okay, so one and ten, eleven. Ahad ashar. So notice, one comes first and then ten comes next. Ahad ashar. Ithna ashar. Twelve. Ithna ashar. Ithna comes from ithnan or ithnain. So ithnan, ithnain, two. That's where that comes from. Ithna ashar. The rest of them are super easy because they're exactly the number in the ones place and ashar for 10. Thalathata ashar. And you're going to pronounce it with ta' marbuta because all the rest of the numbers here end in a ta' marbuta. Thalathata ashar. Thalathata ashar. 3 and 10, 13. Arba'at ashar. Arba'at ashar. 4 and 10, 14. Notice when we write it, 14 in English like this. It's the same thing in that it's from left to right. Arba'at ashar. Khamsat ashar. Khamsat ashar. And this is a little bit different than in dialect. In dialect, you'll hear people say khamsat ash, which is just a shortened combined way of saying the words. But in fusha, we're going to pronounce all of them out. Khamsat ashar. Remember, khamsa looks like a zero. And zero looks like a dot. Okay, so when you see 1 and 0, it's actually 15. 15. 16. 16. 17. 17. 18. 18. 18. is easy because 19 looks exactly the same. وعشرون. So now once we get into 20, عشرون, عشرين. you have the same plural forms that we have for مذكر. It's وعنون or it's يعنون. In dialect, people always use the يعنون form. In فصحى, it depends on where it is in grammar. So for right now, you can use either one. It doesn't matter. أحد عشر, إثنى عشر, ثلاثة عشر, أربعة عشر، خمسة عشر، ستة عشر، سبعة عشر، ثمانية عشر، تسعة عشر، عشرون، or عشرين. So pause the video and you're going to practice saying them. Now, once we move on and we look at the numbers in the 20s and 30s and 40s and so on, so forth. It's the same thing. We're going to do the ones first and then whatever is in the tens. So, it's actually very easy. So, 21 is going to be 1 and 20. 1 and 20. 
or if you want to say واحد وعشرين. So one and twenty, which is the same as in in Spanish. Twenty-two, اثنان وعشرون. اثنان وعشرون. So these numbers are all your regular numbers: one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. Okay. ثلاثة وعشرون. Notice in these in eleven to nineteen, you pronounce the تام مربوطة. Okay. And then when you go beyond nineteen, you don't. أربعة وعشرون. خمسة. وعشرون ستة وعشرون or if you want to say ستة وعشرين all of these you can inter, right now just it's interchangeable okay when you take 131 we'll talk more about when you use one versus the other سبعة وعشرون ثمانية وعشرون when you see it written like this it's just a ثا with a ميم one of the ways that we learned in 130 is you can also write Like this, when you have a form of a letter that starts like this, like ba and ta and tha and ya, if you see a letter like that and it has a meme after it, many times people will write it like this. Okay, ثمانية وعشرون, تسعة وعشرون, thirty, ثلاثون. So notice twenty is just ten with a waw noon. Thirty, same thing, is just ثلاثة with a waw noon. So you just don't pronounce the ta'mal buta. ثلاثون ثلاثين ثلاثون ثلاثين So if we do thirty-one, it's the same form that we use here. واحد وثلاثون واحد وثلاثين اثنان وثلاثون اثنان وثلاثين ثلاثة وثلاثون ثلاثة وثلاثين and so forth. Okay, so it's always going to be the ones, and then you'll say whatever is in the tens. Okay, so if you have thirty-three, we say ثلاثة وثلاثون. If I have thirty-eight, we say ثمانية وثلاثون. Okay, so now let's do all of the. Multiples of ten. We have. Let me do it in yellow. عشرون. ثلاثون. From number four, أربعة, we get أربعون, أربعين. Okay. So the normal way would be أربعة. When we. That, when you add the waw noon to the end. Remember, without the top mudbuta, becomes forty. Khamsa, five. Khamsoon, fifty. Sitta, six. Situn or sitin, sixty. Sabra, seven. Sabroon. ثمانية ثمانون تسعة تسعون and for a hundred مئة 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 so you're pronouncing in فصحى the همزة there مئة so if you have a hundred and something so let's say we have a hundred fifty one Remember, the zero is a five. We're going to say مئة. Then you're going to do the ones. مئة وواحد وخمسون. Okay. So it'll be a hundred and the ones and tens. So one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. So let's do some practice. If we want to do huh? 
and I'll write them in both ways. So pause the video and then you're going to figure out how to say it. For now, you don't have to write the whole thing out, just practice saying it. Okay. 65, we're going to say the five first and then 60. Khamsa wa situn. Khamsa wa situn. So five and six. So here, this is six and this is five. Khamsa wa situn. 72, what's two? Ithnan wa sab'oon. Ithnan wa sab'oon. 48. Eight. Thamania wa arba'oon. 99. Nine. Tis'a wa tis'oon. 113. We're going to start with 100. Mi'a. And then what is 13? Mi'a wa Let's do a couple others. Let's do So pause it for each number and come back. Okay, 15, khamsat ashar. So 5 and then 10. Khamsat ashar, khamsat ashar. 84, arba'a wa thamanun. 36, sitta wa thalathun. So these are how we are going to count. Now, when you're talking about how many things you have, you can just say the number. Okay? But one thing I do want to mention is if you have two of something. Okay, two of something. If I want to say, عندي, I have two friends, or I have two pens, or I have two classes. What you do is you take that word. So let's say we have class, and I want to make it two. You simply add alif noon to the end. Arindi safan. Okay, and in dialect, you'll hear safain. Okay, this an and this ain represent what what we call muthanna, which is two. When you have two of something. Okay. So arindi safan arindi. Safane. The difference between the two is grammar. Right now, we're going to focus on this. Most words that are functioning as the mubtada or the khabar in a sentence take alif noon. Ya noon is usually when you have a number that's followed by um, a preposition, for instance. And you'll cover that more in 132. Okay. So if I wanted to say, um, how many kam... كم صديقا عندك أو لك أو لديك. How many friends do you have? Remember whenever we use the word كم, after it, that word is going to be singular, مفرد, and it's going to take فتحتين. Okay. So anytime we have كم and we use it in a question, we have كم, how many? The word after it is always going to be singular, صديق is singular, and then we add تنوين to it. كم صديقا عندك؟ How many friends do you have? And I want to say two friends. I'm going to say صديقان. Okay. If I wanted to say two friends and they're female, صديقتان. Okay. So that ألف نون that you attach to the end just means two. So, Try to answer some questions. Kam baytan andak. Kam 
كم سيارة عندك؟ كم صفا عندك؟ This one should be a pretty big number. كم قلما؟ How many pens, pencils do you have? كم قلما عندك؟ So try to think of the number and then you'll answer. كم زميلا عندك؟ How many classmates do you have? Notice, even though in English and in dialect you use a plural after كم, in Fusha you use the singular. Okay, so all of these words, بيت, سيارة, صف, they're all in the singular. So now what you're going to do is you're going to practice with the numbers. And on Smart Sparrow, you'll see a couple of um, examples where you can practice with the numbers, which are drills 12, تمرين 12, with تمرين 13. So these two drills in Lesson 5 on Smart Sparrow, after you complete this lesson, you're going to do those two drills because those are all practice with the numbers. In one of them, they're saying a number, you're selecting which one it is. In the other one, you're taking a bunch of pages out of a book and putting them back in order. Okay?